What's going on everybody? My name is Alex, also known as Formula. Welcome back to episode number 10 of Craft Night Season number 2. We are here on the server today. I am super, super excited because we got a lot of amazing things planned for today's episode. But first things first, if you guys can do me a massive, massive favor and just please hit that thumbs up, the like button right below the video. That would honestly be super, super amazing. Every single episode of Craft Night has just been going up and up and up. You guys are just absolutely killing it. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the series. The better these videos keep doing, the more I'm going to keep posting them. So please help your boy out and hit that like button. But anyways, we are back today at the farming complex. All right, we haven't made a farm in quite a while. I know the last farm that we made was the glow squid farm, which is actually super dope. That's gotta be my favorite farm right now. But the one that I wanted to work on today was actually a melon farm. And the reason why I wanted to make a melon farm is actually for a couple reasons. One, obviously being you get a lot of melons, okay? And the melons you can actually use for a lot of things. You can make glistening, glisten, gl glistening, glistening. I, listen, I don't know what it is, but you get what I'm saying. Glistening melons. <laughs> <laughs> and you could actually use those to make some really cool potions and not only that you can also use the melons to trade with farming villagers and get a lot of emeralds pretty early in the game, especially since I don't have a pillager farm yet. I think that's going to be a pretty good farm to make real, real quick. It's actually a really easy and simple farm to make as well. So once again, I actually got this tutorial from Shulkercraft. This guy literally makes the most goaded farming tutorials. I've literally just been copying every single one of them. But you're going to want to start off by making a simple two block hole. And I'm not going to really make this a tutorial for you guys because I'm pretty bad at explaining things like that sometimes. So I'm just going to make it happen and you guys can just see what I'm doing here. But we're going to make a pretty decent size hole over here we're gonna be able to get so many melons i think it generates like around 1100 melons per hour so this farm is actually very similar to the glow squid farm believe it or not like it really just depends on the mine carts and a bunch of redstone well not really that much redstone this is actually a simple farm to make we're gonna place a little bit of redstone torches right here so we got our mine cart rail that's gonna be powered up all right so now we're just gonna simply just add on some of these powered rails we're just gonna start with these off first slap some of these bad boys in here nice and easy and yeah, as you guys can see, they're already powered up because of the hidden redstone torches. So the hardest part is pretty much just connecting all these rails together. This is where the minecart with the hopper is going to go on and pretty much just transport everything we got going on in here. Yep, I already definitely messed something up here. Yep. I definitely did. Okay, well, this is why I am not a railroad technician. There we go. All fixed. It's all connected. Looks pretty good so far. Every single powered rail is working. All right, so pretty much the hard part is complete. We got the collection system fully working, so that's really awesome. Now we just got to add on the dirt where we're going to plant the pumpkins and the melons. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this could be doubled as a pumpkin farm, so that's actually super useful. I'm not really too sure why I would ever really need pumpkins unless I want to make pumpkin pie, but I feel like that's kind of just a waste of time to be honest, so we're just going to make this a melon farm for the time being. All right, bro. You're really just going to walk all over my melons like that. All right, dog. Yep. You definitely got to go chief. Sorry. I definitely need to make like a safe house here at some point. I might even do that this episode because there's just way too many mobs. They, we got a zombie walking around with a shovel. Like where did he even find that? We got to Oh no, that creeper, that creeper. Yo, sleep. Hurry. No, 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 bro. Oh dude. I really, really thought, you know, at least I didn't break my cow farm. That's all I care about. Oh, we got a zombie villager. Oh no. Oh well. GG's buddy. Dude. Okay. I don't know why there are just way too many mobs spawning here. It's actually kind of crazy. All right. You guys already know the vibe. We can't just leave our creeper hole open like that. We got to fill it all in, bro, bro, bro. Where did you get like, where do these zombies even get the armor? That's what I really want to know. I don't understand. Like, how are they all so jacked? I am probably the worst person at filling creeper holes but it's all good all right let's go back to our little contraption here hey yo look how sneaky this spider thinks he is bro he's hiding in my wheat farm like you really think you know what actually he's kind of friendly i think i might leave him Are you a friendly spider dude can i like adopt this guy as a pet yo what since one of the spiders so nice all right so i kind of completely messed this up bro i have such a hard time following tutorials for some reason i don't know why i just cannot do it right on the first try every single time oh oh what the yo homie dog what I thought we were friends. He just betrayed me. I think my guy waited it for it to be nighttime so no one would see him try to kill me. But wow, okay. I see how it is. And now for the hardest part is placing the pistons on every block that doesn't have a crop, bro. Getting pistons to face the way you want them is always the hardest challenge in Minecraft. Yep, see what I mean right there? Yeah, you really thought you could grief my farm, buddy. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, wait, 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 chill, chill, chill. I was actually joking. I was joking. I was joking. I was joking, all right? Just please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. 
Man, uh, yeah, I definitely got to put some fences around here, guys. I don't know. I got to I gotta somehow protect this area. All right, so now all we got to do is just add some observers on top of every single seed. I obviously had to put some weed seeds down because I don't really have that many melon seeds to begin with. So this is like the easiest way to place them facing downwards. Hopefully this farm works, man. I don't even know if I did this correctly. I definitely missed something here, didn't I? Oh, I missed a piston. And then all we got to do is just place some redstone on top of every single observer so it all works. Hopefully it actually does work because if not, GG's. And I believe that's it. Like, literally, this is it. This is the farm. It's really not that complicated of a farm. We did have some problems along the way, but I mean, it kind of worked out for the most part. I'm gonna leave it open like this for now until I get enough melon seeds to replace the wheat seeds. I'm actually curious. Can you grow melons using bone meal? Is that even possible? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Hold on a second. We might be onto something here, guys. All right, so this next simple farm that we're gonna build is a cactus farm. And, you know, I kinda need some cactuses for said project. And luckily, my boy Dylan over here is harvesting some cactuses, which I'm just gonna steal. All right, he's not gonna know about this. You guys aren't gonna tell him. All right, maybe we might give him some diamonds for these cactuses. Honestly, that seems like the right thing to do. But so far, I'm actually really loving what we got going on with the farming complex. I don't know what the next farm I should make. We got melons. We're about to have cactuses. We got cows, wheat, crops, like literally everything almost done. We definitely still do need to make some kind of like chicken farm, maybe like an egg farm. And we also gotta make a sheep shearing farm. These are all really simple farms that really don't take that much time and just give you so much stuff in return. All right, so we're going back to Dylan's place right now. I think, you know, 24 cactus for three diamonds sounds pretty reasonable to me. I think that's a pretty fair trade in my book. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's go make this cactus farm. All right, so starting off this farm, we got a chest and hopper in the middle. It's going to be an 11 by 11 thing. So let's just start making the border real quick. Oh, and by the way, I, don't, I forgot to show you guys, but I waited around a little bit. I started harvesting some of these melons. And as you guys can see, some of them are kind of starting to grow on the outside, which is why we're going to have to put like a nice little glass border all the way around. But I mean, we got seeds planted everywhere now so we could definitely cover this thing make it look a little bit you know more appeasing and uh guys look at that we already got a lot of lemon slices so lemon slices melon slices okay so we're doing some pretty good work here all right these farms they're just amazing i love it the sugarcane farm is you know still going to work and um yeah this next farm is just going to be incredible so we're going to definitely get a lot of emeralds hopefully from some farming villagers very soon here and then hopefully next episode we're gonna be able to build our shop here we go we got an 11 by 11 little area over here so now we're gonna make some room for where the cactuses are gonna grow cactuses wait i cannot say that right it's cacti all right so we're just gonna separate it every single one you guys already know the vibe oh really bro i need two more sand all right what's also pretty good about this location by the way i think right over there we have like a flower biome going on so we could also in the future potentially make a flower farm if we need some dyes and stuff this is a really good location to be honest i really like it here you could build a lot of stuff all right let's see we got the sand planted this is looking good so now what we're doing is basically just creating some temporary pillars where we're gonna put some fence posts and in case you guys didn't know the way the cactuses grow every time they grow and a block touches them the cactuses will instantly just break and that's why this is such an easy farm to make because you don't really need that much stuff to break them so we're gonna put those little pillars over there then we got these fence posts which we're gonna use in between each little pillar and some in the middle here and then all we do is just get rid of these temporary blocks really quickly nice and easy there we go so now we're basically gonna have some floating fences and that's gonna break the cactus let me know if you guys are liking these farm videos man i don't know why but i just absolutely love making farms it's one of my favorite things to do in minecraft i just love stacking so much stuff actually i don't even need this row of fences right here we're just gonna get rid of that and the last few steps is literally just adding on the cactus putting some water and you're pretty much done. You can AFK this thing all as long as you want, really. It doesn't matter. It's super easy. I'm just going to put a water bucket in every single corner here. One, two, and three. And literally, that's the farm. It's that easy, guys. Like, it literally didn't take me more than like five minutes to make this thing. So let me just show you guys how this thing works real quick. So can you actually use bone meal on cactus? No, you cannot. That's embarrassing. Okay, I guess I'm not going to show you guys how it works, but you pretty much get the idea from here. But I think we're going to want to make it a little bit safer, though. We're going to put some glowstone around. Oh, yeah. No way. Not the mafia again, bro. Are you guys serious? Bro, they're always coming at me at the farms, dude. They're literally watching me from somewhere. There might be like a pillager outpost nearby. I don't know. Yo, all right, boys. Listen, we got to have a talk. You guys got to go back to where you came from. I don't, never want to see you around here ever again. Oh, no. Okay. All right. See, this is what happens. You don't want to pull up to my scene, bro. 
There we go. GG's. All right, there we go. We officially got the border. Cactus farm complete. Looks amazing. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could make this thing go up as high as you want, really. Like, it's actually crazy what you could do with it. But I don't really think we need to do that, to be honest, because I don't really have that much of a use for cactuses right now. So we're actually going to go ahead and do the same thing with the melons so melons don't grow out on the outer edge over here. This is awesome. Let's go. There we go. And one last side. Oh, we also forgot to make a way to get down to the chests. That's the most important part, because how are we going to collect it? All right, there we go. Now we have like a little secret area down here where we can make a giant chest room for all of our wonderful vegetables. Is cactus a vegetable? I'm pretty sure it is, right? You can eat cactus. I think it's edible. And there we go. It's complete. We officially have our melon farm and cactus farm. We got this little storage room. I don't know why I decided to decorate it a little bit, but you know what? Why not? All right, sweet. It looks like we got our next two farms. <laughs> you guys got to let me know. What should I build next over here? Because wow, this farming complex is looking pretty goaded so far. All right, guys. So the next thing that I wanted to do on the server is obviously I harvested all the wheat pretty much. So we got a lot of wheat stacked up in our chest and we're kind of creating like a whole row of chests over there just full of stuff meant for farming. So maybe I'm thinking about like creating like some kind of like barn or like farmhouse. I don't know. I kind of, I feel like we need to do one. I mean, we already have like one, two, three, four, four, five, six farms here. So it's probably about that time that we start making a proper collection system for all this stuff. And also I wanted to test out a theory with fortune three on crops. Now I've been reading a lot of my comments and you guys were saying that you could actually use fortune three to harvest crops. And I never knew that you could actually do that. So I'm going to use some of this bone meal that I got from the nether. Actually, by the way, those bone blocks, by the way, super awesome for getting bone meal, super quick. So we're going to test this out. I planted 18 things of carrots really quickly. So carrots are actually really awesome because you can convert them into golden carrots and that gives you a lot. But anyways, I'm going to use my diamond axe with fortune three right now. And we're going to see how many carrots we can get out of 18. So let's just start harvesting. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fortune three does work. I did not know that. That is actually super cool. I think we got to definitely start getting some uh, good old carrots going here. All right, yeah, we literally just multiplied how many carrots we have just by using some bone meal and fortune three. That's actually insane. If you guys want to get started on some farms pretty early, I mean, it is kind of hard to get fortune three pretty early, but we still made it happen. All right, guys, so we are back at our farming complex. Bro, it takes so long for me to walk all the way back, grab some stuff, come back here. We're definitely gonna have to make like some better way of transportation, probably through the nether. I think we're gonna work on that actually. You know what? That's a good idea. So you know what? I also wanted to build a little farmhouse slash barn type of thing. So maybe I should just you know, clear out everything over here. And I think, um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's definitely the move. We're going to clear out everything here just so the barn is not directly right next to all the farms. All right, bro. You got to see th these creepers, man. They blend in with the grass a little too. All right. Really, bro? I don't know what's going on, man. But anyways, we're going to do a little bit of terraforming. This might take me a while. So we might see a little time lapse. All right, so I think we pushed the mountain far back enough right now so we could definitely start building our barn. We're just gonna cover up all these holes here, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on here. Are creepers making this? No, nah, no, nah, this is definitely naturally generated. I don't think a creeper can make a hole that big unless it's like supercharged times 30. But the reason why I wanted to make this little barn is because I needed a really good spot to go AFK whenever I wanna just sit here and let the farms do their magic. And also just wanted to make like a little storage area and a place to sleep at night and a place to make another portal. So it's gonna be like all in like four utility type of thing. So it's gonna be really useful. I think we need one for sure. Again? Are you kidding me? What are you even looking at? They always come here to the farms. Guys, does anyone have an explanation for this? Like, I cannot understand. They're every episode, every time I come here, these guys are always just chilling in my turf, bro. There must be a pillager outpost, like right over this hill that I'm missing. I don't, I don't know, bro. We might have to go check that out later. All right, so I definitely want to go with the modern look yet again, because I don't know, modern stuff just looks absolutely insane. I love it. I'm a huge fan. We're going to try to make this look as realistic as possible to an actual barn, but we're just going to make it look modern. That's all. All right. All right. So we're going to make like a staircase going up here, and then we're going to have two different sections over there. There. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly just winging this. I really hope it looks good. If it doesn't, that is going to suck. All right. So I guess the plan, we're going to have to somehow connect all three sections of this barn together. So I guess we're just going to put some pillars up here, maybe some stairs. Ah, dude, I really have no idea what's going on with this thing, but 
I just hope it looks good. I think it will though. I'm pretty confident in these builds. We're totally just gonna wing this. Let's throw some stairs up here. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. All right, all right. Yo, this is actually coming together pretty nicely. So usually whenever I build in this game, I like to do the detailing last. I always find it really hard to just get like the foundation down first. But once you really have that done, it's a lot easier to just go back and replace blocks. So that's kind of what we're working with right now. We're just gonna put down all the stairs, all that stuff first, and then we're gonna do all the fun stuff after. All right, that doesn't look too bad so far. I mean, actually, it kind of looks atrocious, but don't worry, trust. It's gonna come out decent, I hope. <laughs> all right, now we just gotta make these pillars the same height on each side. What the? Yo, what is going on here, man? Okay, yeah, yo, I'm being watched. I'm not even kidding, bro. Look at this. They're like, they're not even attacking. They're just like, are they trying to, yo, are you guys trying to make a peace tree or some kind? Or what's what, what are you guys doing here? Oh, okay. Oh, no. They got four of them, bro. Oh, dude. This is not good. I don't have any villagers here. That's the weird part about this. There's like no villagers. So I don't know why they're spawning. Okay. We're kind of getting somewhere with this now. All right. Just going to put some glass in here. We're going to do the floors at the very end. I just want to make sure that I actually like the shape of this barn. All right. Yeah. This is actually starting to come together now. I like this a lot. You know, I thought I was going to be a little uh, skeptical about this, but I think once this is done, we're going to be pretty proud of ourselves. That looks really good, actually. You could come down here. I mean, it's not that much space, but we really don't need a lot of room for this. Like, we could just stack chests going all the way up on each little side over there. Let's just uh, emulate that on this side as well. Okay, okay. Yo, this thing is actually looking pretty grand for a barn. I like it, though. I really do. I'm trying to decide where we could put a nether portal in this thing, because we definitely want to have one so we can get back to our house like 20 times faster. All right. That is looking pretty clean, actually. Okay. All right, let's take a quick look on the outside, how this looks. Oh, yeah. Yep. I am definitely content with this. This is awesome. Obviously, still got to do the roof and floor, but, you know, it's looking pretty solid so far. Let's add some glowstone around the rim here. Okay. Yo, this is clean. Okay. We're going to put some of this in here. Just have a little bit of a variety inside of this build. Yo, that actually looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking, baby. That, let's go. All right. Yo, this is dope. Okay, now we just got to do the roof. All right. It looks like the roof is fully complete. But you know what? I feel like this barn is missing something. Just a little something to make it look a little bit extra special. And actually, you know what? We're going to go up right now and make it happen. I think we're going to go ahead and add a second floor. Because you know what? That's definitely what this place needs because we got one room for storage, one room for like sleeping, and then the other room is going to be for the nether portal. So I think this is going to be the perfect combination for all that. I think we can make the top area maybe to the nether portal. I don't really know. Oh, please tell me I have enough for this. Please tell me I have enough deep cops. Like this is my last stack. That is the worst feeling when you think you're about to run out of materials. Come on. We can do it. I think we got it. Yep. All right. Yo, this is going to be dope. Now all we do is just add our final layer of glass and we should have a pretty awesome little bedroom for our barn. Oh yeah. Yep. This is epic. Let's go, baby. All right. And it's complete. Wow. We got full 300 degree views of the entire farm area. This is awesome. We got views of the land, the water, the mountains, the forest. Like this is so dope. Oh, what the? How are you getting in here? Oh, definitely got to light this place up. That's for sure. All right. Quick barn reveal in three, two, one. Oh yeah. All right. Yo, there it is. Yo, that actually looks pretty pretty cool. I mean, I know you guys are probably thinking it doesn't really look like a barn, but I mean, it looks like a modern, I don't know, kind of just, it does look like a barn, but it's just modern. I don't know. We can always also extend this going out this way if we want to put some horses in here, but I don't really think we're going to keep all that stuff around this area. Instead, that's going to be more close to my actual house. So yeah, this looks just amazing. Wow. Oh, forgot to do the backside here. That might be a little awkward. We could actually use this space for something. I don't know. Eh, maybe not. I might not use it. We'll see. All right. Awesome. Yo, that looks dope. Pretty happy with this. Now all we got to do is just decorate the inside. Got some doors there. Ooh, we got to make a nice big row of chests. I'm thinking like that and like that. Oh, we could also put some chests in the middle too. We're going to skip that for now though. Actually, no, we're not. There we go. We got a lot of chests over here. And then on this side could be like the sleeping area. Where should the nether portal go? Should it go upstairs or down here? Hmm. I'm thinking the nether portal should go here. Yeah, I can make like a giant one too, like going all the way up. Oh yeah, that would be cool. And then I think the bedroom could be upstairs. All right, so let's put some ladders down like this. There we go. So I could just simply just come up here, maybe put a bed down and sleep. All right, well, we're back in the mine. I guess now we got to get a lot of obsidian. 
in because we need to make a giant nether portal over there and somehow it's got to connect all the way back to the one at spawn all right well now that we got the obsidian Let's start adding the stuff in. Hopefully I got enough. If I did not get enough, you can just forget about the nether portal. It's not happening. All right, we definitely have enough. Okay, let's go. That's good. Now we need a flint and steel. Okay, I should probably go make one. But at the same time, we also got to put these glow item frames down. So let's just do that for every single chest. We could obviously expand this going all the way to the ceiling, which I'll probably do very soon. Do I have the chests on me? No, I don't. You know what? I could just make it right now. All right. Yo, that actually looks pretty clean on that side. Okay. We're going to put the nether portal last because I'm actually really curious to see what the nether is going to look like over here. Hopefully it's a good one, man. Because if it's a bad one and we just spawn and just instantly fall into lava, that is going to be pretty bad. And then obviously you guys already know the vibe. We got to make the bed look pretty fancy because, you know, we want to have a good time when we're out here on the farms. All right. Slap that in. Oh yeah. This is looking pretty dope. Actually. I like this. Wait. Oh no. This is bothering me. It's not even. Oh no, I gotta slide this bed down now. Oh yeah, I already know the comments. You guys are probably saying that I should have moved it earlier. We, we gotta move it. We gotta reconstruct the entire bed because of this. All right, yep, that's much better. Okay, you know, I'm not sure why anybody would wanna sleep with a bunch of glass over their heads, but I don't know. We're just gonna keep that there for the decor. All right, well, it looks like the barn is pretty much complete for the most part. I definitely could add a couple more decorations and stuff inside. I might like redo the floors a little bit later, but I think it's pretty much useful and functional and that's all that really matters. But I think right now we're just gonna put away all of our stuff and head into the nether and see how ugly or good it might be. Who knows? All right, we got our flint and steel. Oh man, I'm kind of nervous, bro. I really am nervous. I hope it's gonna be really nice in here. All right. The portal is lit. Let's go in. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be terrible. Ooh, okay. Yo, it spawns us in the crimson forest. Yo, that's not even bad at all. That's actually really good because we can also farm all this wood here. We could also, dude, we could even make a hogland farm above all the nether in this exact spot. And it's right in our farming district. So this is actually a really good nether spawn for us. Okay. I wonder how far we are from the other portal though. I don't think we're that far. Oh my gosh. And there's a warped forest right next to it. Yo, okay. Yeah, this is a dope spawn. We got hoglins on deck too. Yeah, I don't really know how far the other portal is, but I know it's gotta be close by. But anyways, guys, I think this is gonna be a really good place to end off the video. I hope you all enjoyed this episode today. We actually accomplished so much. We got the new barn. We got the melon farm, the cactus farm, carrots. We did a lot of farming today, okay? But I had a really good time. Hope you guys did as well. It mean the world to me if you guys could drop a like, subscribe if it's your first time watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Das Vidanya.